Get ready for your favorite fruity boy. There he is, Rudy Rudy Boo Booty. Yep, hi. Jeez, control your excitement, Roots. We can leave and come back in. Maybe this time throw out a, hey -o, friends ahoy. On a lighter note, looks like you picked the perfect hat. What if I came in and stole all your napkins? Doesn't feel good, does it? I mean, they're there for people to take. Here, I insist. Hand the magazine over into this hand right now. High five, sorry, reflex. That's it, Yap's car. Steal Yap's car so that stealing the magazine won't seem like a big deal? We're, we're sorry, sorry, Dr. Dr. Yap. Wait, it wasn't Tina and Louise's fault. They were covering for me. I just really wanted to keep this. Aha! I didn't want to become a magazine burglar. It's just, do you know how often I win at stuff in this family? Uh, four? Never. I never win. Anytime we play board games or thinky games or that terrifying hanging game where a little stick man has to die if you don't guess the letters. Do you know how many horrible stick man deaths I have on my hands? I always lose, but this time I won. And I don't know, I, I wanted to remember it. Uh, oh, Gene. Oh. Huh. I guess we kind of have something in common, Gene. We're both dentists? And I'm not just saying that because Mother's Day is coming up. Right, Mother's Day. Man, I just hope we have enough wrapping paper. That's my main concern. Really? I'm concerned we don't have any presents. Gene? Putting stuff on that trash can is just like a fun, dumb tradition that makes people a little happier. Like childbirth. Stop leaving the restaurant. You are obsessed with this place. It'll be super quick, Bob. In bed by 9, lights out by 9.30. Mom, salt. Season her. Do you think they'd let us come to Scrabble night if we asked nicely? Wait, is that the thing with the letters? Never mind, I'm thinking of Scramble. That rock could make us some paper. And maybe some money, too. I mean, I don't know how to recharge this thing. I bet Billy Crystal would know. Huh, the crystal, it's dead. Huh, huh. Unless it's one of those crystals that crawls back together? Nope. You kids look great. I'm a gladiator, a gladiator who just got his masters. We should be calling you Pumpkin. Aw, me, Pumpkin. I said should. It's a foot-long taco dog. Don't call it a hot dog. Show some respect. I'm telling her that. I know you know. I guess people just like what's familiar. That's why I stick with the two of you. She said she and I weren't the kind of people who build stuff. That sounds like something awful your mom would say. That's not genetic, right? I built a bear that one time. Maybe You notice a chest in the corner. The lid is carved with goblin hieroglyphs. Sounds like something from Etsy. She was right. They don't like it. Maybe I'll tell them they're all Shreks now. Shake things up even more. This is a really long game. Longer than Monopoly. And you don't even get to dabble in real estate or visit your sister in jail. You could find another hobby. I like fake sweeping. 16! Oh, like the candles. Good thing I brought my bass drum. Bum, 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 bum. Why does he hate pencils so much? Because they taunt you with their delicious looking erasers that actually don't taste that good? Hey, I don't come to your classroom and tell you how to do your algebra. Hey. I mean, I wish you would. You need an evaluation that's catchy and blurb worthy. Got it. Miss Twitchell's so good, she makes learning almost worth it. Okay, now you be Lady Gaga and I'll be Mom. It's a conversation I've always been curious about. Something similar happened to me when I was in high school. You fell off a high school frigate? The rabbit comes up from his hole, runs around the tree, and then goes back into his hole. Yeah, rabbit didn't make it back into its hole. Wait, where is your rabbit? Uh, uh... Dad, what did you do to your rabbit? But I need Jean to be in it. Okay, um, maybe ask Jean or Louise and Tina. I did ask him a lot. He always has a different excuse. I'm uh, getting my wisdom teeth put back in that day. I'll be debuting my glamoury do. It's like a didgeridoo, but with more sizzle sazzle. Uh oh, Phoebe's missing? Smart Money says the flies did it. <sighs> oh, I guess I've put this off long enough. They're waiting for me at the bar. You sound really into it. I'm excited to grow up. Jean, bam, bullhorn. Abandon ship! Four Bob's Burgers! Gene will eat those. Yay! Flappy waffles. Flappy, 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 flappy. Wait, did it work now? No. No? Hell no. Why hell no? Just switching it up. I'm Louise. This is my brother Gene and my sister Tina, and we're... Your cousins! Well, third cousins, I think. So we're totally fine to marry. Flipping through... Wait, lasagna! We're not looking for lasagna. Maybe it's looking for us. Wally is more human than all of you! Boba, 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 boba. Boba Boba. I'm going to school. You blew, you blew it. it. Ah! Dana! What? I just wanted to say hi. Um, hi. Hi. There's the band shell. See you soon, Shelly. We're gonna rock so hard. A lot of confidence here, despite what some robots may say. What? Nothing.
Did you mean to wave your arms all over the place while falling into the hole? Because if so, you nailed it. Well, whoever it was, they were murdered to death and buried to death by a murderer barrier. And a Scorpio, probably. Lynn, we have to pay the bank. You shout that a lot now. We did that really well. All right, save Mr. Fish Order, save the restaurant, solve a murder. On three. One, two, three. Save, save Mr. Mr. Fish Order, save, save the, the restaurant, restaurant, solve a murder. And prove we're not babies and Chloe Barbash is dumb. Okay, let's move. This is how law and order should start every time. I'm at school. I'm feeling suddenly like I love fractions. Should we get going? Some lucky. Nope. I like this. I think I'm going to have my next birthday party there. Oh, good idea. Yeah, the theme's going to be disgruntled. That's nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you, Scary Carney. Love you. Bye. Get down. Get down. Shh, shh, you get down. Jane, sorry. We are also getting down. <laughs> heaven? Sounds like heaven? I think she's saying we're number one, but we're not all there upstairs. I have some questions about this moving balcony. I think it's how he gets his meals and sends back his dishes. Oh, then I love it. Or it could do the other thing water does. Hot tub time machine? No, drown us. Oh, well, I never saw the movie, so... And the middle-sized one could play my buxom German maid Inga, but in the place she's called Ingophilia. I feel ya. Wish that movies let you reach right in and hug your favorite characters. I've got some exciting news! And yet you're holding zero ice cream. 6D batteries. I haven't seen 6Ds since my last report card. We could wait for lightning? It worked for Ben Franklin and Frankenstein. Ooh, Halloween idea. Ben Franklinstein. Uh, I didn't know I was going to have my own restaurant or three kids. Or that much body odor. No, I, I I knew I'd have that gene. It's probably genetic. Oh, no. Anyway, we're making the right decision, and Teddy's going to put in the new counters, and he'll do a great job. Speak of the devil. Teddy's the devil? I wish my hair had 10% more pizzazz. No, wait, six and a half. Don't want to overdo it. Oh, crap. Just lie to me at this point. Really? No. Happy to lie to you about your hair. What's wrong with it? Nothing. Hey, kids. How was school? I don't know. Pretty sure I went to it. Just sleep on it, okay? All right. The ones and fives will be cushy, but I'm worried the coins will stick to my face. No, don't actually sleep on your money. Money is dirty. Okay, Mr. Mixed Signals. And brush your teeth, Gene. You're all over the place. Let's start picking out an outfit for you. It's six in the morning. So we have time to try different options. Well, I'm gonna sleep a little bit more. You lay out some outfits for me. Mm, pick out something for me too, even though I'm not going. Okay. Goodbye, old life, you sick joke. Whoever said ain't no mountain high enough was sorely mistaken. In the past, we've had some hiccups. Hey, I'm back. No! Let's get him! Oh my God! Murder her! Jean! Yeah, honest mistake. I could have bought a turntable and then made my all-scratching album called The Tables Have Turned! Yeah, I was just thinking about all the other things that I'm excited about that are probably not that great, like going to Europe. I'm guessing the whole I see London, I see France, I see someone's underpants thing is a lie. In heaven. And that's why I have to look extra mature, which I hope this is. Or this? You should wear a business suit and tell everyone you're on a conference call. Did you break them? What? No. Well, it looks like you're holding them up. Holding them up is part of the game? Oops, we lost. Here's the goods. And I kept one for myself to put behind my ear like an old-timey newspaper man. And hey, it was pretty mature of you to tell mom and dad the truth. We're grown-up folk now. I drink seltzer. Louise, I know we're not always going to want to do the same things, but I'll always have your back. Same here. And I've got all your backs, too. I'll never put anything ahead of my sisters. Kids, dinner. Turkey! Get out of my way! Hey. Ah! Running down the gutter with the piece of bread and butter. Diarrhea. Lynn! I love you, Mom. Anyway, I, I shouldn't have kept this from you. I was wrong. Ah! Stop it. Hi, Gene. You're in the contest, too? My song has a really big note, a high D. I've never hit it before, but I'm gonna hit it. I'm also trying to hit a high D in math, but I'm not gonna hit it. What would Ms. Merkin do? I don't know! Ah! Me? In the car? By myself? In the cemetery? Are you playing Clue right now? It's pretty in a gravey way. Also in a groovy way. That guy died in the 60s. The 1860s. Can, can you read this? Uh, are those even letters? I think it says Patrick Cake. No, it says Ram Snick Six. Are we back in the old part of the cemetery? Oh yeah, I remember that angel. The snow makes it look like he's wearing a cool hat. I remember I said, cool hat, bro. Are you my dad's mom? No. Are you my dad's mom? No. Gene, you don't have to say that every time. What if I whisper it? Are you my dad's mom? No. How are we 
supposed to find Mom in a giant cemetery with the sun going down? Should we shake some keys or bang on her food bowl? In a jiffy. Ah, you sang it, you sang it. I broke you, it's in your head. Ah, damn it. Can you believe it? Ah! Is that Mom? It's either Mom or a talking bird that's loving life. If you have good times, and if you have good rhymes, you may have found your one and only. But then the one you like, like, says take a hike, hike, and suddenly you're lonely. But still be glad, even if you're sad. Take comfort just in knowing you'll be okay. It's Valentine's Day. Your heart's not broken, it's only growing. I'm sorry, too. I promise to tackle you every day for the rest of my life. Is this movie gonna have a score? You know, some music to tug at the heartstrings. I haven't thought about it yet. Well, check this out. <laughs> Think about it. Now, let's talk about your music budget. Is it a million? We only need one megaphone out here. You know what you need? You need this! Think about it! Or a whole bunch of fur coats. Ooh. I'm gonna throw paint on them. Where do babies come from? You all come from my vagina. I knew it. You owe me $10, Tina. Wee! I feel like a kid again. I feel like I'm in one of those breast mint commercials. But I suppose I could work you in as like a really stupid stapler or a desk or something. I did incredible stapler. Why can't you be Cinderella? Teddy Rella. This guy again. I guess he's not in a hurry anymore. Maybe the speed limit is seven. Like three out of five of my sexy parts after I had kids. Destroyed. Yeah. If you guys had a secret spider, I'd help you feed it. Didn't we always promise each other that? I thought it was a secret alien robot agreement. I guess that was very specific to the Iron Giant. Maybe he meant I cried, y'all. Why is he now Southern? What's that thing? Could be a robot? or maybe a breadstick? Ah, they stole my idea for breadstick ropes. I'm happy with my restaurant chores. I enjoy fluffing the napkins even though no one asked me to, and it's not hygienic. Gene, I've told you to stop that. We get a lot of compliments. I know. Tammy, give me your phone. You can give someone lice over the phone? Oh, prank calls just got fun again. You need a lot of fish in a jiffy called Jeffrey Ruthie Food Delivery. Jane? Yes? Please stop singing that. What? We're not allowed to sing radio jingles during quiet reading time? You're not. Can I hum it? Nope. Tina, uh, it's your brother and sister. From childhood? Well, what do I do? I'm freaking out. Do you <laughs> need more spaghetti? <laughs> Never mind. You weren't so good with it. I'm sorry I was mean to you guys. Ah, I just figured you were having female troubles. What are female troubles? Wait, what? Wow, Dad. I didn't know you were such a mean girl. He's a nasty bitch. Ha! Ah, these slotted spoons are very slotted. No slut shaming. Oh, no. The sod crew. They're here already. I have to get these in the ground now. Too bad, Tina. What are you going to do? Maybe tell them to sod off. I mean, when are you going to have a chance like that again? Tina, you want one, too? Yes. Um, Gene? No. Um, did you murder Tina? We're being watched. Realtor at 3 o'clock. That guy? No, that's 9 o'clock. That guy? No, that's Gene. Sup, girl? 